Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders in digital infrastructure, connectivity, and the networks within. I'm Allison Whelan, coming to you live from the beautiful French Riviera for Data Cloud Global Congress 2024. And joining me is Robert Dunn, CEO of Star Campus. Robert, thank you so much for being here. Hi, thanks for having me. Of course. So to begin, can you tell our viewers a bit about Start Campus and what your team does? Sure. So at Start Campus, we design, build, and operate some of the world's most sustainable data centers. Our first project is in Portugal, in a town called Sines, which is just south of Lisbon. When the campus is fully built out, it should be around 495 megawatts of IT load. And our first building is going operational in Q4 of this year, and that'll be 16 megawatts. Mm -hmm. And sustainability is something that's so near and dear to our mm. hearts at JSA. And I think you're being modest with how you're explaining it. <laughs> so how are you approaching building data centers of the future? So for us, it's all about flexibility and scalability for our customers. I think we're seeing some emerging trends in the market, densities going up, um, so focus on liquid cooling. So we're looking at designs that can evolve over time with our customers' needs. So what do I mean by that? So we have a data center that's entirely modular in its design. So if a customer wants to take uh, half of a data center, we can provide that option to them. Or if they want to take an entire one that's built to suit, we can provide our design solutions for that as well. Scalability is also really, really important to our customers. So we've designed a seawater cooling system, which again to the sustainability piece, both provides a really low PUE, great efficiency, but also it can scale up. So if a customer has a need for a few megawatts today, but wants to grow that to 50 or 100 megawatts tomorrow, we can do that with just the flick of a switch. Yeah, very versatile. Mm -hmm. And what would you consider the key elements to getting these data centers to creating that sustainability? So it all comes down to efficiency, firstly, so PUE. So again, our cooling system is completely designed to have the lowest PUE possible and the lowest WUE. So we're doing that by using a seawater facility, as I said, that takes the seawater out, Atlantic Ocean temperatures, very, very cold, passes it through a heat exchanger and then back out of the ocean. So we don't actually use the water, we just use the cooling power of it. That gives us a low PUE. It also means no water usage. So instead of cooling towers, which use masses of water, and right. industrial or even potable water from local towns, we don't need any of that. So that's number one. Second part of it is renewable energy. So Portugal's a great place with a grid that's fully supported by renewable energy. On any given day, it can be between 70 and 90% renewable with wind, solar, and hydro. So we're tapping into that, but we're also supplementing that. So we're looking to build our own solar farms, partner with our own wind turbine companies as well to try to get that mix of energy locally to us. A combination of the resources then. Exactly. And for our viewers who may want to learn more, where can they go to connect with you or to learn more about Star Campus? So you can start by jumping on LinkedIn, looking up Star Campus, or look at our website at startcampus.pt. Well, thank you, Robert, so much for joining us. And thank you to our viewers for tuning in, coming to you live from Data Cloud Global Congress 2024. Until next time, happy networking.